the fathers are losing contact with their children. 200 children a day are being separated forcibly from their parents, not because of domestic violence, but because court orders are not Why? being enforced. 50% of court, these are dads with court children. orders that aren't being enforced, Julie. Why? I'm just asking you to be reasonable and to think about the consequences of what your ideology is actually uh, doing to kids in this no, country. I'm concerned about the lives and the livelihood and the safety of children and the non-abusive parent, whether they're mothers, whether they're fathers. Where are these 200 children being forced away apart from a non-abusive parent? Why would judges make that order? Judges that don't... isn't what the courts are doing. Your research is absolutely skewed and you're wanting to give the viewers the absolutely ridiculous idea that somehow judges are prejudiced towards fathers. Any single court of law wishes to have parents kept together if the child grew up with two non-abusive parents. The reason why children are kept away from some parents is because of a danger to them. Julie, Only if you were reason. right, if you were right, Julie, we wouldn't exist. And, I, and, and, you know, if that was the case, I wouldn't have dedicated 10 years of my life trying to change family law. The brave men and women, and I should point out to you, Fathers for Justice is run by a woman, who's my wife, and the Dean O'Connor, that there are 25% to 30% of this organisation comprises of grandparents who go through double the heartbreak themselves and for their kids. What about grandparents? What about the sisters who are separated from their siblings? The brothers and sisters separated, families torn apart in secret courts. Are you going to tell me that the brothers and sisters separated are somehow violent or pose a risk to each other? It is ridiculous. No, Your argument is I rooted in prejudice that, and bigotry, Julie. No, I didn't but say that's that. What, what happens, I said they was... lose the father and they lose half their family. No, they lose I, the grandparents, was, they lose brothers and sisters, they lose aunts and what uncles. What I said was that we have to look at the best interests of the children. We have to look at the best interests of women who may be in danger from sustained and chronic domestic abuse. And we have to look at the reality of the effect on children of witnessing and experiencing that second hand. Okay, final yes. words the you, reason please. why final... children are kept away from abusive parents is because of danger to them. Okay, Julie, not we're out of time.